For thrifty shoppers, there's a treasure trove in Brooklyn Park. After 10 days in Goodwill stores, neglected items move to the bins in Brooklyn Park. Thrifters pay by the pound and get more out of those items than you might expect. Here again is Emily Haugen. At 6 a.m., we will have customers lined up waiting to be fast in line to get into the stores. In the early hours in Brooklyn Park, it's a mad dash for the bins. This whole floor has 72 bins. It's almost like treasure hunting. They wait until every like bin is out and then they tell you you can go. And it's just like everybody's digging. <laughs> the bins, also known as the Goodwill Outlet, have become a place for thrifters to play. Yeah, well, it's always like a rush once you find something <laughs> that you like, really like. You're like, oh, I need to keep going. Treasures priced by the pound. Megan and Lily have perfected the hunt. It's always a rush when you find something and then you end up paying like 20 cents for it. They shop for their closets. Others yeah, hunt um, for a profit. You just dig and it's amazing what you find. Yesterday I found a full length cashmere men's overcoat. Catherine Haugrud is one of the Minnesota thrifters making a living secondhand. I list so many items every day. I ship so many items every day whatever needs to be shipped. She was a teacher until the pandemic. I niched down to what I knew the most and could sell the best. She's built her online business over the past three years. If you learn it and you do it right, and you follow the rules, then yes, you can make a living. Catherine isn't the only reseller. General Manager Ken Abondo says the bins see plenty of regulars. Some of those customers stayed the whole day. Just shopping. It's a full-time job for them. Obando says thrifters and resellers help Goodwill in a big way. In a year, we save about 65 million pounds that needs to go in a landfill because we are picking through, making sure that we can salvage as much as we can. It gives a new life to treasures left behind. In Brooklyn Park, Emily Haugen, CCX News. Goodwill officials say this also makes a difference for store employees. They say all the profits help connect people to jobs in the area. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.